Okay. I am responsible for myself and my words and my actions, and so is Joseph, right? 100%. Right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Ashraf, I, I want to introduce you. Are you ready? Yes. This is, this is oh, you, you're the time. moderator. Yeah, no, please. <laughs> okay. I'm so, 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 no. So, 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 they call me a moderate Muslim, so I have a moderate. So, yes. So, the first question, so, firstly, firstly, let me, let me, let me, yeah, wait, 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 let me, let me, let me start and you can come. Okay, so I'm going to Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, all of you are welcome to listen to my discussion with Joseph. We will demonstrate today that a Muslim, an Orthodox Sunni Muslim and a Zionist can sit together and have a peaceful discussion without throwing, without throwing things at each other. Okay, we, we, disagree, we disagree with each other politically, theologically, intellectually, philosophically in all these forms. But we respect, we, we respect each other. Although he might receive some hate from his side. I might receive some hate from my side. Why are you being so kind to a Zionist? Why are you being so kind to an Orthodox Muslim? Blah, 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 blah. But we have nothing to say on those people. People who see hate, negativity and divisiveness, we have nothing for them. We are here to educate people about our respective views. Joseph is welcome to say what he wants to say. It is a free country. This is a free place. Speaker's Corner has freedom. He can say what he wants respectfully without instigating hate or mass murder or any form of, of, of extremism. Likewise, I am under the same rules. I can say what I want, represent my faith without being an extremist or be, without being repulsive towards Joseph, his people and his faith. Okay? okay e so e equal terms. Okay, so basically, Agreed? Yeah, so basically Agreed? You just you just stipulated all the uh, agreements of Salam Kona, so I don't think I need to introduce uh, anymore. What I'm going to do is, inshallah, like I said, have a nice civilized discussion. No shouting. We're not here for the ego to win a point over one another. We're here for genuine dawah, and genuine dawah is that you give dawah to the person, not to your opinion of the person. So I'll leave it to you guys, inshallah. Who wants to start? Should we get Joseph? I, I, I just want to have a quick question. Joseph was going around uh, recently, and we had a discussion on Jewish and Muslim history in the past. My argument was that the Muslims were, uh, generally speaking, throughout their history, throughout the Muslim civilization, from uh, from all the way, uh, from all the way to uh, from all the way China uh, to to North Africa, Jewish people found solace, refuge with the Muslims. Jews flourished for over a thousand years, and I gave references. And Joseph had some reservations about those references and he was coming to hijab, he was coming to other people, but, uh, but myself, he, he never came to me to challenge me on those views. So um, we are now in front of all... So is that all... the topic today? Uh, no, 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 it's, no, no that, so this is a question topic. I want to, uh, you know, deal with before we go into another okay. topic. So you mentioned one source and I think it's probably, we'll deal with it very quickly then move on to the subject yeah. hand. Yeah. You mentioned sources which I'd never heard of in the right. time. I went away and looked into them. You, you mentioned one of them in Petrus, particular. Uh, sorry, it, it was uh, Saffron Petre. Saffron? No. So sorry, I've... sorry, sorry. Um, this is a source mentioned by Karen Armstrong in her history of Jerusalem. So, so what, what uh, I would I'm giving you the I'm giving the direct source where you can actually find this. I, what I propose okay. is while we're talking about the subject, that somebody can look up if there's any Jewish source called Seth Ron Petrus. No, no, Petrus Sephron. Petrus Sephron. Sephron. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Okay. I, don't I, I will give you the. the number of I'll give you the exact. Uh, okay, you've got reference. my. You've got my Twitter channel. At Israel, Ali, do you have a PDF of my, my book? Do you have a PDF of my book? Yeah. Can you can 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 you, can you get my book out? Okay, and get the appendix. I'm gonna give you the reference right now. Right now, the page number, the book, so that you can go and check it. So I was right about. Every single reference I gave you in that video, okay. I will stand by it. I will produce evidence to that effect. Okay, so if I, I, if I fail to do, because I like to talk with credibility, with evidence, uh, with okay. sources. And if I'm wrong, I will always admit I've, I've been wrong. Fine, okay. so we can, we can maybe, the, maybe I got the name wrong that's in that video. Happened. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. But the reference is true. It is there. Okay. So find the PDF and I'll give you. Sephron uh, so, Petre or Petre Sephron, something like that. Oh. Yeah. So it's, yeah. It's, it's probably it's an anonymous Jewish source from the 9th century. Karen Armstrong, in her book, A History of Jerusalem, mentions this source and quotes it. Okay. And I will, uh, because I've written, I've written an article on this: how the Jews uh, lived with the Muslims and how they flourished, how they flourished in all these fields. And we had a long discussion yeah, on yeah, that. So we don't have to go over all Today we want to talk about extremism, right? Um, why are we talking about extremism? Because a lot of people 
have been throwing things all over the place, right? And I've seen you on Twitter, you're very active, yeah. and you were kind of agreeing with these people. Tommy Robinson supporters. Uh, yeah. Some of them, some which of them are Tommy, 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 Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson. Uh, there is one individual, I don't want to honor him by naming him, uh, but, but you know the one I'm talking about. You are very active with him on so Twitter. I will just uh, put my... Okay. I've been bottled by the EDL for standing with Muslims. Okay. I put up videos criticizing Tommy Robinson on my channel, Israel Advocacy Movement. Okay. So I think the asso to, to associate me with Tommy Robinson is disingenuous <laughs> right. because I've got no association okay. with Tommy Robinson. Great, great. You have no association. I, I, I accept that. But you have been seen agreeing with open Tommy, Tommy Robinson supporters so on I'm Twitter. Asking, so so yeah. I'm not aware that I am. Okay, so okay. I, I, I show if, if, some, if I've agreed with a tweet that somebody's put out, and yeah. that person then agrees with Tommy your, Robinson, your, that your Twitter that account. By, by, that by that definition, there will be people that you will have agreed with who've done horrend who have aligned themselves with people that do horrendous things. There is someone in this I, park who used to be a cameraman for people without you, you, will, you will never see me tweeting Anjum Chowdhury or agreeing with him no, on no, Twitter. No, no, never. No, no, Chowdhury, even even, even, even if Anjum, Anjum Chowdhury, Chowdhury said. Adnan, Adnan. Yeah. Yeah. You're not saying I'm, you're not saying that I am tweeting Tommy Robinson. You're saying that I am tweeting in favour of somebody who you're saying supports Tommy Robinson. Yes. Now there are thousands of people in the UK that support Tommy Robinson. Yes. Me knowing who doesn't. Do you think that's a good thing? Uh, no, I think it's a bad thing. I don't think I don't think extremism in any of its forms. Yeah. So I'll give you an example of Tommy Robinson. I think there are things that Tommy Robinson has done that actually were commendable. And there are things that he's done that are beyond the pale. So I'll just give some context to that. I'm, I'm sure. Can, can, I, can I finish my point? Yeah. So when anybody, be they Muslim, non-Muslim, right, left, it doesn't matter. When they call out extremism from any community. So when Tommy Robinson was going at Al Ancharun and when he was putting a spotlight on some of the grooming gangs and Rotherham, I think that was commendable. But then when he starts say, using language like calling Muslims Muzrats and campaigning for no more mosques, for me that then goes beyond the pale. And so, I think so if, with, if, with, with, with any of these, with any of these it, mainstream movements, one of the biggest things that the liberal media in this country has got terribly wrong is they've been able to, they haven't been able to differentiate between ordinary Muslims and extremists. And so they've has, has, everybody has again, Anjum, as the, as, using your logic, yeah. has Anjum Chaudhary ever done anything commendable in his life? to your knowledge. Like you just mentioned Tommy Robinson, I see them as equals. I see them as the same, uh, same uh, two different sides of the same coin, right? Tommy Robinson and Anjum Chaudhary, right? So, so, so just like you have seen con commendable things in Tommy Robinson, right? I'm, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's Anjum like, Chaudhary has done things that are... Um, are you aware of them? Um, no, I, no, I'm not. But that's fine. Why not? Why not? You are you are can quite I, aware I, of. Adnan, 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 can I finish my? Okay. He's the person I'm talking can, to. Can I finish? Yeah. Well, I'll just try and make my point. Yeah. So, what? So, so, so I, Adnan, Adnan. Yeah. Let, sure. Let sure. Um, what I'm trying to say with Tommy Robinson is Tommy Robinson head is the figurehead for what I would consider quite an extreme movement, a violent movement, a movement that there shouldn't be things. Islamophobic. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, completely anti-Muslim bigotry, 100 percent. Yes. Um, and what I'm trying to say is that was able to emerge because the moderates, the liberals, were unable to differentiate. And so they allowed the only people who were saying anything were the right, were the, were the far right. And that enabled the mass movement to emerge because the moderates were so incapable of dealing with extremism because they have this warped view where they see all Muslims as the same. So and they're not, if, if, huge if you were seen, if you were seen associating with a Nazi or someone who agrees with Nazis. For example, it's an example. You being a Jewish gentleman. Wait, wait. So, you being you, a Jewish... Can you name who it is, please? Because uh, this is really... Steve. Steve from Steve. the park. Steve. Uh, Steve. Steve. Is Steve yeah. here? Because he was here two minutes yeah, yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just can he, I ask him, is yeah. he a Tommy Robinson supporter? Yes. He has said it on video. Yeah, okay. He has said it on so, video. So I, I, to use a Muslim expression, I threw myself with that because I, I, I am not aligned with Tommy Robinson. Um, I'm sure you're not. I'm sure, I'm sure you're not. And I believe that. You being a Jewish gentleman, who has, who I'm pretty sure you have a, you, you are aware of the history of the Jewish people uh, when it comes to anti-Semitism and the yeah. sufferings they have had in the West in particular, right? Um, all the, the pogroms and the Holocaust and all that, you being aware of that, you out of all people must be the most careful person when it comes to hate and extremism yeah, against sorry. a vulnerable minority like the Muslims are in this country. You should be standing next to us, 
so Muslims, you should be protesting against Islamophobes and I people know. like Tommy I Robinson. Know. I've been bottled by the EDL standing in solidarity with Muslims, not once, but twice. But we don't but see that on Twitter. Twitter. If you actually followed me, you would see it. So and I give. So there's one video on my YouTube. Can we go on your Twitter account now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On my YouTube account. If you go on my YouTube Twitter account. Twitter. Can, 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 no, no, no. Okay. Is, the video which I'm talking about is too yeah. long for Twitter. Twitter, you get like, two minutes and 20 seconds. So two instances where I've been bottled by the EDL. How many people in this crowd here? There's quite a large crowd. How many of you have been bottled by the EDL? We, we need to go. Yeah, no, 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 no. So, so we've, we've got, we've got, we've got. There's three of us. He was punched. He was no, punched and nearly, video, nearly, no, nearly killed. Like, so there are examples. So, no, so, I've been threatened. So, 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 Adnan, death, Adnan, death, Adnan, Adnan. death threats. What I'm, what I'm trying yeah. to say. So yeah. the EDL went to Downing Street. Yeah. I stood in solidarity with the Muslims and took a stand against the EDL because I'm against all forms of bigotry. The second time. All forms of bigotry. Uh, yeah, the second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will use these words against yeah, yeah. you. The second time yeah. was actually they didn't attack me because I was standing in solidarity with Muslims. They attacked me because they thought I was a Muslim, which was just as horrendous. Because I was wearing a big knitted kippah, and then the weirdest thing happened. One of them screamed, actually, this guy's not a Muslim, he's a Jew, and they all stopped attacking me. It was the weirdest thing to see, to see extremists stop attacking someone because he's Jewish. So for me, I have nothing to do with the EDL. I've opposed them throughout my political career. Uh, 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 career are, you, are, you, political are, you, are you a Zionist? 100%. Okay. There was a direct link between a Zionist think tank and Tommy Robinson. Are you aware of that? And British newspapers reported it. So that apparently, they, as they claimed, that some of the funding of people like Tommy Robinson is coming from Adnan, Zionist think tanks. Adnan, what is a Zionist? You tell us. No, 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 I'm, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, you're, you're, I'm, you named I'm, Zionist think I'm, tank, so I'm asking what is I'm, a Zionist? I'm, no, Adnan, you introduced the phrase, so explain to the camera what a Zionist is. To me, a Zionist... Not to you, what is the definition? What I understand. I can only tell you what I understand from Zionism. Zionism is a political ideology which doesn't have the support of Orthodox Jewish community uh, in Britain and uh, across the world. There are many Orthodox Jewish people who are against Zionism. Zionism is a political uh, ideology that came to prominence in the 19th century with the advent of Theodore Herzl, who proposed this idea of uh, a, a homeland for the Jewish people in Palestine particularly Palestine because the British Empire or offered uh, Uganda as an option but they insisted on Palestine Zion what they call the Zion so the return of the Jewish people uh, by hook or by crook to Palestine is in a nutshell Zionism okay, so is, that, is that accurate no okay a Zionist is simply somebody that supports the state of Israel as a national home for the Jewish people, not at the expense of anybody else. So if you support a two-state solution, you support Palestine in the West Bank and Gaza, and Israel in the, the, the land in between that. Can I just, two minutes, two minutes. Let him finish, let him finish, please. Let him finish. He has the right to finish what he has to say, yeah. Anybody that supports a two-state solution, so Palestine alongside and Israel, is by definition a Zionist. Okay. And so, what you, you, may, you may be right, potentially there is somebody or an organization that self-identifies as Zionist and also supports Tommy Robinson. But any British, any government in the world that supports the existence of the state of Israel, any Muslim in this park that supports the state of Israel's existing, not at the expense of Palestinians, Arabs or anybody else, they are by definition a Zionist. So maybe you're right. Maybe there are Zionists. Maybe Christian Zionists. Maybe Jewish Zionists. But who knows? Maybe right. could, maybe right-wing Zionists. Maybe left-wing Zionists that endorse Tommy Robinson. But it means nothing. But why? Why? Uh, you, the, okay. the, defi the definition of Zionism is literally captures most of the moderates in the world today. Because most moderates, be they supporters of the Palestinian cause or not, support the state of Israel. So, so you don't, as a Zionist, you don't support right-wing hatred. No, uh, no, against Muslims in, no, in, in no, Britain no, and no, elsewhere. And I will stand in, okay. You will camera, stand with Muslims. Yeah, publicly Good. on camera, okay. if there is ever okay. a far-right march against the Muslim community in the UK, reach out to me on Twitter. I will so, happily so, so do you think Islamophobia is real? Like anti-Semitism is real? Do you believe Islamophobia is real? It does exist and people are dying because so, of Islamophobia I think, around I think yeah. there's distinctions between anti-Semitism and Islam. Of course there are distinctions. But I 100% believe there are. So to, to, to go back to Tommy Robinson as an yes. example, hmm. when he uses language like Muzrat, he's that's not talking liberal values and wanting it. That's literally using a 
But what I so why do, why, language. why do you think Tommy Robinson can get away with that language uh, while while people can. using the same lang language against the Jewish people wouldn't, hey, wouldn't get away with it? Why are do you, you think that's the case? And I'm not. What are you smoking? I am not. Tommy I'm not. Robinson uh, is blacklisted on all Tommy social. Uh, no, 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 He's right. still walking. So all, is he free at the moment? So, so again, again, Tommy Robinson has been incarcerated several times. Not because of Islamophobia. Um, because of breaking, uh, because of breaking the court rules and all that uh, for contempt of court. To, to, not because of Islamophobia. Tommy Robinson is shunned by most people in the UK. This is a very liberal country, a very of course, country. of course, Britain. So, Britain is a beautiful no, country no, no, you, with with so, with so, so, with so, so, amazing so. with amazing liberal um, tolerant people living in it. Yeah. British people are some of the most generous and loving people in the world. If they were not, if they were not that. Then we Muslims would have been dead because for the last 20 years, the amount of poison that has been pumped through the British media into the minds of the British people, we the Muslims would have been dead by now. Okay. If the British people were not a great people, were not a tolerant people, were not a generous people, we believe they are. That's why they are rejecting people like Tommy Robinson. Let me finish very quickly. So, why is the government not taking action against people like Tommy Robinson and other Islamophobes who are? Open. If anyone tweeted against the Jewish people, would be incarcerated immediately, rightly, rightly so. But why are the Muslims treated differently? Why do you think that's the case? Okay, Adnan, I don't know if you've been paying attention. Like, that's all yeah. finished. Well, and let, let, let's calm down as well. So okay, we sorry, sorry. Quite, I'm getting passionate. Can you? And I actually think we're you? on the same side here, so, so it's very bizarre. Um, if you've been paying attention yeah. to the news recently, yes. there has been so many cases of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Yeah. 15,000, there's been a 15,000 page dossier handed into the Equality and Human Rights Commission on anti-Semitism. Not one of those anti-Semites has been incarcerated. So the idea that if you may, if you, you say something anti-Semitic or anti-Muslim, that you will be incarcerated, that's not, that's not manifest. Let me all. correct you, let me, let me correct you there. Let me correct you there. Recently we had the election, right? Jeremy Corbyn was being accused of anti-Semitism without right. substance. Without substance. There is, okay, not a, there. Wait, there. there is not a statement Jeremy Corbyn has made throughout his 40 years of political career where he said anything anti-Jewish. Okay, let, let, me, let me stop there. Examples? There are statements are made by Boris Johnson. Anti-Muslim statements. Openly anti-Muslim statements. So in different places at different times and different, uh, uh, on different platforms. And yet we have the British Prime Minister now, uh, you know, Boris Johnson is the British Prime Minister. So, so this is, we saw the injustice there. We saw the injustice there. Uh, Adnan, Adnan. On, the one, on, on the one hand, you, you can see someone moral, noble, uh, you Jeremy know, Corbyn. yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, let's go yes. there. Let's like scratch, <laughs> reset the debate, and this is the conversation. Okay, let's so, let's talk. So, let, let, Give me one one okay, statement okay. made by him, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, anti-Semitic. Absolutely, absolutely. Can I just can I just can I? Is Zionism anti-Semitic? Ali, we can get under Zionism, but let's let's let, let's yeah, see. Yeah. Where, That's a Ali, very. Ali, we can sit down on the Salem corner next, and we can do that next. But let's stay with uh, Jeremy Corbyn. That, that, that's so, a very important distinction, by the way. But, but let's instead of like hopping around like frogs, let's stay on one subject, Jeremy Corbyn. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions and you, you tell me if this is anti-Semitic language or these are anti-Semitic things, yep? So, we started the conversation by talking about associations. So, let's begin with an association. Is it, and you tell me whether it's anti-Semitic or not. No, 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 you're not sitting down on the chair. You, no, 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 no. Let, let him finish his point, please. Let, no, he has the right to finish his point. You can disagree with him. Then Ali, then me yeah, you can yeah, sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'll get home to my wife. Um, so. You tell me whether this is anti-Semitic or not. Jews are a peculiar and strange race, and they are behind the movement of all capital and responsible. And there's no war that's sanctioned in Europe without them sanctioning it. Is that an anti-Semitic statement? Did Corbyn make the statement? No, 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 no. It is an anti-Semitic yeah, statement. It is. It is an anti-Semitic statement. It was, it was yes. written in a book. It was, it was written in a book called Imperialism by J. A. Hobson. Okay. Corbyn not only endorsed it, he described it as a great tome. He wrote the forward to it. He wrote the forward to this book. So you're talking about associations. This conversation started with that I am I I'm friendly with Steve, who you say is supporting Tommy Robinson, and you you question my judgment there. 
So I would. Reverse, I do. I do. I, yes. And I would reverse this background. Yeah. The, here is you've got a book of Mein Kampf about the, the chapter that this appears in is called Economic Parasites of Imperialism. So wait a There's a, two minutes. Two minutes. There's another chapter in the book called Imperialism and the Lower Races. Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. Rajiv, can you just let us talk? Like. Let, 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 him, let him finish, please. Let him finish. I, I do apologize. This is a discussion. This is a discussion. No, no. Listen, brother. I'm going to bring a number of examples. I'm going to bring. I agree with you 100%. If that is the case, Jeremy Corbyn made a huge mistake. I don't believe he's an 